Hi everybody, uh, today I'm going to be making uh, uh, some homemade navy bean and barley soup, okay? So we've got a lot of ground to cover really quickly, um, but what I'm going to be doing is uh, running you through the basic ingredients that I'm going to be using, and what you can do is feel free to uh, improvise with your own, uh, you know, experimental ingredients, so you don't have to do this just the way I'm doing it. But basically what I'm going to be using is navy beans and barley. And you can get like two types of barley. One type is uh, pearled or whatever, you know, where they like, they take some of the coating off and uh, the other type is more rugged. It's like a rougher, coarser type of barley. So this is going to be organic barley from Arrowhead Mills and it's really high in protein. And... Uh, the other ingredients that I will be using is water, of course, but uh, chopped onions, uh, oregano, and uh, mustard seed. So when you do this, uh, you can get two different types of oregano. You can get Mexican oregano or Mediterranean oregano. And I think I might have some of each type, but I'm just going to use whatever I have. It's probably Mexican oregano. I have some other, probably somewhere in the freezer that might be the Mediterranean oregano, but let me pause this and get it set up uh, for the uh, for this thing here. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, all right. So I'm back. We're going to start with the navy beans now. Uh, to tell you how I prepare my navy beans, what I like to do is I take my navy beans and I, I like I rinse them really, really well. That means I stir them around vigorously with a spoon and then drain out the water and put some more water in a bowl and, and do that like four times. And the fifth time I fill them up. So what I do is I soak my navy beans for about two and a half hours. And then I drain off the water. I actually drink the water that they were soaked in because that's nutritious. It has some of the bean you know, nutrients in the water. And then I refrigerate the beans. So you have these beans that have been soaked just for two and a half hours and then they're refrigerated. So then after that, I take the beans and I put some in a bowl and then I add a little bit of water to that and I microwave it for three minutes, okay? This is a microwave uh, recipe, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this and come back and show you how the beans will look in the bowl, okay? All right, so there you see the beans in the bowl. Now these were the beans that I, uh, I soaked for two and a half hours approximately and then I drained the water off of and then I put them in the refrigerator. So they'll stay in the refrigerator for a while. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of water to these, maybe about half of the depth of the beans of water. So the, the water is not up to the top of the beans, but it's maybe almost halfway that high. And I'm going to put this in the microwave on high for three minutes, okay? After I do that, I will next put some barley on that and stir everything together really well, add a little bit more water, microwave it for two and a half minutes, and then I'm going to add the spices. Actually, I'll probably add the spices right away, like actually right after the beans are done. I will, I will throw in some chopped onions, some oregano, and some mustard seed. And then I'll take the, the barley with that, stir everything together really well, and do it for two and a half minutes. Then take that out of the microwave, stir it really well, do microwave it for another two and a half minutes. Now, if it's not done well enough at that point, this is a really kind of a rough course dish coarse dish but you can do it for another two minutes or however long you need to keep repeating the process you and you might want to let it cool down a little bit in between like for a few minutes and and don't add too much water because it'll boil over in the microwave the idea is you never really have a lot of water in this at any one time and then at the end when you're all done you can add water to make it more soup like and that'll cool it off a little bit so you can eat it sooner because it'll be really hot when you finish but you basically want to test it Every time you microwave it after the first two sets of two and a half minutes. So, after, like I said, so first you do the beans for three minutes. Then you do the beans and barley and spices together for two and a half minutes. Then you stir, do the beans, barley, and spices together for another two and a half minutes. Then you test it every two minutes, or you want to just do it at one minute increments. I like to have mine really coarse, so it's like chewy. It's really fibrous. It's, it's tough. It's not like soft. But you might like it softer, okay? It's up to you. I think you can develop a taste for the rougher, coarser uh, versions of this as you as you get used to it. But I'm, I'm a more of a rough, tough type of food eater, and uh, I like it less cooked. But uh, so we'll show you how it goes. I'll show you how it goes as we go along, all right? So I hope you enjoy this. Be back in a while after I have 
uh, microwave these for three minutes with just a little bit of water. And remember, do not add too much water because it'll boil over in the microwave and then you have to clean off your microwave plate after that, okay? Okay, I'm back. Right now my beans are in the microwave. They're microwaving for the three minutes. So I want to show you my barley, okay? This is, uh, I don't want to show you the logo because I'm not supposed to do that, but I guess I could. But can you see there? This is the barley in there. This is the Arrowhead Mills brand of barley. And you can just see it, and it's got all this nice nutritional information. So this is just dried barley. And then this over here, this is must brown mustard seed. You can get it in different colors, but this is like dark mustard seed. Can you hear that? Okay, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's mustard seed. And then the other things, this is chopped onions. I'm not going to... Can you see down there? There's a little bit left. I got, I got a full one of these, actually, in case I use all this up, but... This is just dried chopped onions. It's not like I chop my own, okay? And then I got my oregano here. It's in the bottom of something else that I, I'm using a bottle from some garlic powder, but it's a, the garlic powder is not in the bottle anymore. But the oregano is in the bottom of this little spice container. And this used to have garlic in it. I'm not using any garlic in this recipe, but it's just oregano. I think it's Mexican oregano. Okay, so these are the spices that I'll be using. And I showed you the barley too. So next I'm going to come back with the beans and I'll show you what everything looks like when I add it on to the beans okay all right be back all right so I'm back with the uh, with the beans now these have been microwaved for three minutes I don't know if you can see the steam coming off it's kind of dark but I just had a little bit of water in there and I microwaved these for three minutes okay here I have everything set up you got okay so they've got the barley uh, this is the oregano this is the chopped onions and this is the uh, mustard seed okay I'm gonna pause this and come right back and I'll show you how I add the ingredients one by one. Okay, at this point I have added the barley and nothing else. You can see it's sitting on there. It's like a little pile of barley sitting on top of the uh, on top of the navy beans. This is the barley. Wow. I don't know if that can focus that close. It's so dark. But okay, so let me pause this and I'll I'll show you uh, the spices going in one by one. Okay. Okay. Now I don't know if you can see down there. I added some uh, chopped onions. See there? That's this little pile of chopped onions. So the onions are in there now next to the barley. Okay, now I'm going to add the other things. That's a lot there, isn't it? Okay, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but next I have uh, added the oregano. That's over there. See there? I'm trying to figure this is everything's in the opposite direction because I'm looking at this through the viewfinder. So, um, Yes, definitely the oregano has been added. Now let me get to the mustard seed and I'll show you that too. Okay, so at this point I've also added the mustard seed. So that was, we'll go backwards again. Okay, this is the onion, oregano, and now I have mustard seed over here. It's kind of hard to figure out what I'm doing because I'm looking through the through the uh, screen on this thing. I'm not watching my hand in real life. So... So that's the mustard seed. I actually got a lot of spices in here, and you don't need to put anything like that amount in. This is going to be really strongly spiced. But next, I'll stir it all together with some water, and not a lot of water, but a little bit of water, and then I'll start microwaving it. So we'll just uh, we'll just go through this step by step here. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. At this point, I have the uh, everything stirred together now. You can see there's some water in here, and you need to be careful about how much water you put because... You put in the bowl with your ingredients because when you get this in the microwave, it can boil over. Now, if you do this carefully, the barley will begin to soak up some of the water. And when it does, and some of the water will just evaporate off the steam, but you need to be careful. Don't add a lot of water when you're doing this. But I'm going to microwave this for two and a half minutes, and it won't have boiled yet by then, I think. Will not have. And then I will, uh, I'll do it again. I'll stir it and then do that for another two and a half minutes and watch it carefully. But... If you want to do this, uh, if you think you're in danger that you have put too much water in, you can microwave it for small amounts of time and then let it cool a bit and stir it and then microwave it again. You don't have to have it at high heat for a long time each time, but I think this is probably going to be all right because the barley generally tends to soak up some of the water as it expands, just like rice would. So we'll give this a go. I'll be back. I guess I'll be back when the whole thing is done. So I hope you enjoy this, and I'll show you the final ingredient. I mean, the final product. All right. Okay, I'm back. Now, at this point, you can see the beans and the barley. I have microwaved these for two and a half minutes, and I stirred them, and I microwaved them for two and a half more minutes. And I don't know if you can see this, but I can tell you for sure 
that the barley has soaked up a tremendous amount of the water. There's only a teeny little bit of water now left at the very bottom, but it's still uh, a little bit too firm for me. So I'm going to probably microwave these for another two minutes. And I might add just a little bit of water, but you must be very, very careful when adding water that you do not add too much water because then it can boil over in the microwave. Um, so if you can, if you want to watch it, you know, and uh, turn it off if it starts to boil, get near boiling over, you can do that. But uh, so, so far we've had the beans have cooked for three minutes on their own, and then the, everything mixed together has cooked for two and a half minutes, twice more. So at this point, the total cooking time has been eight minutes. Let's try for 10 minutes. So I'm going to do this, and uh, I want to tell you all right now, this is my very own recipe. I think I got the idea of navy bean and barley soup from something I saw in a store once where they sold you the ingredients together, the dry ingredients together, uh, in a package. But the spices are all my own invention. Uh, like I said, the chopped onion, the oregano, and the, uh, and the mustard seed. These are just things that I've personally found to work well. And in the future, I may be working on another soup recipe that is similar to this one, but that uses slightly different ingredients. There's a substitute for the navy beans, but that's about it. Okay, so let me pause this, and uh, I'll go ahead and add some, just a teeny little bit more water and microwave this for another two minutes, and then I'll get back with you. I think it hopefully will be done by then. Okay, uh, right now, I got this funny shadow. Okay, so right now, my soup is microwaving for the final two minutes. But I want to say a few things. Um, one thing that I like to do, that I'm trying to get rid of this shadow on me, okay? So one thing I like to do, see if I put this here, I get a shadow on me, right? Okay, so one thing I like to do is, uh, is when I microwave something, uh, after it is finished microwaving, I leave it sitting in the microwave. And this is because it continues cooking while it's cooling down. So after the microwaving itself has stopped, you have something very hot sitting in the microwave. So if you leave that microwave door closed, it traps the heat in there. And as this thing gradually cools down for a few more minutes or whatever, however long you choose to leave it in there, it is still cooking at gradually, increasingly lower temperatures. But this is a good way to save energy and to cook at lower heat. And uh, so I want to say when I'm doing this, you know, that I do this sort of thing, like I let it sit there. Like, let's say I cook the beans for three minutes, then I can let it sit there. And then I cook everything together for two and a half minutes, then I let it, let it sit a while, then two and a half more minutes, then I let it sit a while. You see the point is it's really, you're getting more cooking time than just the straight minutes that I say. The other thing was earlier, I mentioned that I got this idea from something I saw in the store, you know, where they had the beans and the barley together, and then, you know, you just sort of make your soup. But even though everything was dry like this, I think theirs was like a stovetop recipe. This is an all original microwave recipe where I figured this out, how to do it. And the idea of soaking the beans uh, for two and a half hours and then draining and refrigerating them before doing any of this. That was my idea too. So this has a lot of originality to it. And uh, so like I said, this is a microwave oven recipe, but you could probably come up with something on your own if you wanted to adapt it for stovetop cooking. You know, you just use your imagination. All right, so hopefully soon we'll have the whole thing uh, finished. And then like I said, at the end, you add some cold water that, that makes it more soup-like and it cools it down enough so you don't have to wait a long time before it's ready to eat. And uh, so I'll be back with this when it's when it's ready to show you again. All right. Thank you. Can't turn it off. There you go. It's got a problem. It won't turn off. All right now. So uh, here we have the final product. This is the this is the soup. It has microwave for the final two minutes. I've stirred it. I've taste tested just a teeny little bit of it. And it's it's really... For you, or for most people it is, I think it would be a little bit too rough and tough and coarse and harsh. But for me, I like it this way. If anything, I could take it a little bit less cooked. So uh, I'm going to add a little bit of cold water to this, and uh, and then it'll be ready. It'll be like more soup-like, and it'll cool it down. But this is just fine for me. And like I said, you might want yours a little bit softer than I have this here, but it's a good little... Uh, bowl of soup and it's actually this is actually more than one meal's worth this is easily two big meals so i can refrigerate let's say whatever i don't eat if i have some leftover i mean if i eat all this at once this will be a really big meal and then uh when i'm ready i can like heat it up or eat it cold it's up to me you know i can i can put it in the microwave for with a little more water let's say for just uh half a minute or one minute or whatever it takes to warm it up or i can just eat it cold it's 
you know, it's good both ways. You know, I don't like to cook too much because I believe that eating foods as raw as, as reasonably possible is healthier and uh, has more of the natural nutrients in them, including the enzymes and everything. But uh, yeah, you know, this is it. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this, come back after I've added a little water, and we'll have the final soup ready, and then that will be the end of this video. Okay, back recording on the scene here again. Okay, so now you can see all this water I've added. Can you see the water? Yeah, you can see the water. Okay, so I've added, this is more soup-like now, right? So it also cooled it down a lot. I added cold water, ice cold water, and not ice cold, but you know what I mean, cold water. And so this is your soup. Now, uh, what was I going to say? You know, you got it here, and uh, you, you know, you do this your own way. Don't You don't have to do it exactly like I do it. This is just sort of an idea for you. Uh, navy bean and barley soup with spices, and you know, you can do it in the microwave. So let me turn this camera around, and then I will sign off, and uh, I'll check you out in a minute then, okay? Okay, so how'd you like that? So that was the uh, navy bean and barley... Uh, soup video and uh, you know if you want to subscribe to my channel feel free to do so because you can feel free to you can feel free to do so because you know YouTube put these new guidelines in where you have to get like a thousand subscribers and I don't know what it was so many hours of view time in a year to you know even you know get anywhere with this and I kind of feel like wow you know I was almost near 10,000 views when they changed the rules again so I'm I'm like starting all over again and I don't really I never really tried to get subscribers much ever before and now you know if you I'm just saying you know now I have to have a thousand subscribers you know to be anything you know as far as a youtuber goes I mean I'm sure if you understand the new rules this year 2018 the recent rules the most recent rules so uh, unless they change them back you know but so like I said uh, if you want to subscribe I mean I'm not a big subscriber I, I don't subscribe to a lot of channels so you know I'm not saying this is something you should have to do. But if you want to subscribe, if you like subscribing to channels, you know, uh, feel you can feel you can feel free to subscribe to mine, and uh, I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, you know, uh, that'll help me maybe get somewhere with my YouTube channel, if you know what I mean. And uh, if you know what the YouTube rules and regulations are all about, you know that they changed them recently, and this is this is early February of 2018. Okay, so if you know what's up with YouTube. Um, you'll know that I, I can't get anywhere now unless I have a thousand subscribers. That's just the same deal with anybody and get a certain number of hours of view time per year. Anyway, catch you later. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate everything.